in the future, there won't really be countries like there are now. There won't be nation states. There'll, there'll just be one big world government body. Or in the future, there will be a return to a, a more sort of feudal system of government. All the different countries will be divided up into lots of small, more or less rural communities. Or in the future, there won't be very many people, but there will be some people. And those people, that, that smaller group, they will have found a way to extend human life so that each individual lives for two or, or three hundred years. Or, or there'll be lots and lots and lots of people. Uh, I mean, there'll be far too many people, uh, many more than there are now. Uh, and, and everybody will just be kind of squashed in everywhere, you know, with hardly any room to move. Uh, it, it'll be like being on the tram at rush hour, except all the time. Uh, and, and people will just be like this, you know, and they'll have to get used to a, a very different idea about their own personal space. Mm -hmm. or, or there won't be any men in the future. <laughs> they'll just be women. And, and there'll be a big kind of uh, sperm bank where women can go to get sperm if they want to conceive. And men won't be needed at all. Or, <laughs> or there won't be very many men, um, but there will be a few of them. Uh, or the whole world will heat up. And the rising sea levels will lead to displaced populations and, and scarcity of resources. And these, in turn, will lead to lots of geopolitical conflicts. And states will get stronger and stronger. And they'll need those stronger states to maintain order and to impose the rationing of food and fuel just to keep those displaced populations in some kind of um, fragile balance. Or, or, or in the future, there will be more and more revolutions. The populations will rise up and, and overthrow governments and politicians will be hunted down and lynched and, and, and executives from the banking sector and heads of business and people like that will be paraded in the streets with their heads shaved and made to sign long confessions concerning events that they have caused, or in fact, concerning events that they had nothing whatsoever to do with. People will get completely carried away on a tide of self-righteousness. They'll break into banks and museums and palaces and just take whatever they want. They'll, they'll smash the computers in the government offices. They'll tip endless filing cabinets of paper out of the, the windows. There'll be so much paper falling out of those windows, it'll be like, a, like a, an American presidential parade, like carnival. It'll be like it's snowing. And the streets below those government offices will be white, covered with all these thousands and thousands of sheets of paper. Or it really will snow. Uh, it'll just snow more and more in the future. Uh, and kids that live in countries that have never seen snow, uh, they're in for a bit of a treat. You know? But the rest of us will get sick of it pretty quickly. It won't stop, it'll just keep on falling. And life as we know it will have to come to an end. Or the institution of slavery will be reintroduced, but, but only for a fixed term. Um, so you could sell yourself into slavery if, if you needed the money, for example, you know, for two or three weeks or you know, maybe a month. Um, or you could buy a slave, you know, for a night, if that's what you wanted, you know. Or, or, or for a couple of days to do a bit of heavy laboring work in the garden or 
You know, or you could buy a long-term slave for, I don't know, three or four years. You know, but there would be a top limit on it. You wouldn't be able to sell yourself permanently into slavery because that would be considered morally wrong. <laughs> or, or in the future, uh, feelings of political powerlessness will be so widespread and overwhelming that increasing amounts of people will try to take control over their lives through extreme eating disorders. So in the future, the streets will be full of insanely, obscenely overweight people or, or really, really frighteningly thin people. Or, in the future, extreme forms of self-harm will become more and more common. You know, people will deliberately uh, destroy their own hearing, or, or amputate their own limbs, or, 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 or pay their friends to, uh, to disfigure them unexpectedly you know, <laughs> uh, while they're sleeping. Or, or in the end, Suicide will be the most common form of death. Or, or death will just be a thing of the past. Death will just be a thing made up to, to frighten the kids with, you know, like, um, like Santa Claus, or, uh, or witches, or, or the Spanish Inquisition. It will become really common for people who are just in their, their, their 20s or, or 30s to get taken ill one evening and then just die the next and people won't take life for granted anymore I mean, they'll, they'll be, be really frightened that a combination of these plagues and epidemics will not just kill them but wipe out everyone and they'll be praying praying that uh, scientists or doctors will, will come up with a solution before it's too late. Or, or there won't be any doctors or hospitals at all. You know, because people will think mm. that, that medicine is just a, a distortion of the evolutionary process. So, you know, people won't be allowed to be treated with medicine. Because if you, you treat someone with, with medication, you're just uh, distorting the gene pool in a way that was never intended by nature. You know, with medication, you'd be helping someone to survive who, who should have been weeded out through, through natural selection. And, you know, and in fact, all kinds of human constructions will be outlawed. So um, people won't be allowed to wear clothes. Because clothes are just a way of adapting yourself to your environment outside of your own biology. You know, so you know, if you're too cold to survive there, then you should just die. <laughs> if, you're, if you're not adapted to the environment you're born into, you shouldn't be there, you shouldn't survive. You know, and eventually people will get a lot tougher. You know, they'll also tend to live in the warmer parts of the world. <laughs> and, and very slowly they'll, they'll demigrate back into Africa uh, or, or, or the tropical rainforests. Or in the future, most adults' dreams will be nightmares. We, uh, children will sleep all right, but most adults will find it increasingly hard to go to bed at night uh, or to sleep at all. And children will have to sing them lullabies in order to reassure them that everything is all right. Or kids will be so valued, so fetishized for their, their wisdom and their innocence, you know, that, that people will organize society so that, that kids make all the decisions. So, so children will be the government, uh, kids will run the legal system, uh, children will design the cities, you know, and the, and the buildings, and uh, children will be the intellectuals. Or children will be grown specially so that their organs can be used for transplants. Or, 
or, or children will be, will be rare, you know, because of increased sterility and all kinds of medical stuff. You know, children will be so rare that people who are lucky enough to have them will just keep them secret. <laughs> or, or, or in the industrialized world at least, uh, people won't want to have children anymore. They won't want them to, to slow their lives down. So at best, uh, you could have children by proxy. Like, you go online um, and sponsor a child. And, you know, it'll, it'll feel like you're doing something good. It might feel a bit like parenting. But it won't impact on your life any more than getting a postcard every now and again, or, or an email with some pictures attached as JPEGs. Or people will have more children. Or, or time uh, will stretch so that uh, a second becomes more like a minute, and a minute becomes more like an hour. Or the expansion of the universe itself will, will go slower. It, it, it'll get slower and slower and slower and then stop. And then, then slowly at first, but then faster and faster. It, it'll collapse backwards. Galaxies, suns, planets, atoms, all hurtling back to the the middle point, where it all began. Or, or in the future, time will speed up and people's lives will get shorter and shorter. People will be like butterflies. They'll only live for a day. But they'll cram so much into that day, everything that they need to do, that even that short lifespan of just one day will get shorter and shorter. It'd be like a, a summer's day, and then like a winter's day, and then shorter and shorter, until in the end, people will live for little more than an hour. <laughs>